Hey there, are you a Lightroom, Photoshop, or Capture One user, Apple Photos user? Well, get ready to revolutionize your photo editing game with On One Photo Raw Max. As a powerful all-in-one plugin to your preferred photo editor, you can use Photo Raw Max to quickly apply creative styles with effects, get rid of any grain with no noise AI, instantly retouch any faces with portrait AI, or even enlarge your image to any size with resize AI. I mean, you name it. And you can do all of this without opening or closing any other plugins or applications. Once you're done, head right back into that preferred editor with your photo modified and looking exactly how you want it to be. It's the ultimate solution for photographers looking to supercharge their workflow and bring their images to the next level. Let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you just how easy it is to integrate it into your preferred workflow. So we're in Photoshop here and let's say you're regularly working with images of some sort in Photoshop, whether that's with graphics or you're modifying them with adjustment layers. Let me show you how you can integrate Photo Raw Max into that workflow to save yourself a bit of time and also a bit of space in that layers pane. So I'm just gonna open up an image here and I'll open up this Eagle photograph. And we're not actually going to modify anything in here. We're just gonna let On One Photo Raw Max take care of all of the different image modifications that we need. So we'll just open this up as is. And with this Eagle photograph, let's say we're trying to create a graphic that we add into a publication of some sort, um, whatever it may be. You know, we do wanna add in a bit of styling to this image just to make sure that the Eagle does sort of stand out and that we're focusing in on that subject somehow. So the first thing I wanna do is just crop it. I'm just gonna crop it down a bit to get rid of the excess in the scene. And with our image cropped here, the framing is looking way better, but if we zoom in here, we have quite a bit of noise within the background and some graininess within the animal there. And if we're publishing this, especially printing it, that noise could get a lot worse. And even if we're using it graphically on the internet or social media, rendering it out and having other people modify it, it could potentially get a lot noisier in there. And so what we want to do within the scene, sort of right out of the gate, is get rid of that noise. And then within Photo Raw Max, it's sort of the world is your oyster. We could do a whole lot of things to this image and just modify that in one single application. So let's go into On One Photo Raw Max. We can style the image, we can get rid of the noise, and we can add in any local adjustments if we need to. And I'll show you a quick way to modify your layer in Photoshop here so that you can easily go back and readjust those settings if you need to. So first things first, let's just right click our layer and we'll convert it to a smart object. Then we're gonna go to File, Automate, and then we have all of those on one modules that we can access. It doesn't really matter which one you select because you are pretty much accessing that all-in-one plugin, which is On One Photo Raw Max. So let's just choose Develop there. And that will open up that cropped layer inside of Photo Raw Max. And remember, the first thing we wanted to do was get rid of that graininess and noise within the scene there. So let's go into Noise and Sharpening. Let's use No Noise AI. You can see it immediately gets rid of any of that graininess and noise within the scene and it still maintains all of that detail that we want within our Eagle photograph. We just move this over here and you can see it a bit more on the feathers there. So it's looking great. Let's apply that there. And now let's use Brilliance AI here. I'm just going to select that to enable it and turn that on. And that's basically going to handle all of the heavy lifting when it comes to the tone and color and even the local adjustments. So things are looking much better there. They're a little bit more contrasted. We have a little bit more color, which I may actually tone down. But from this as the original, we have this now. And if we want to adjust things, all we have to do is just open up this Brilliance AI section here. I'm actually gonna pull up on the auto here just to give it a little bit more brightness. But then I'm going to head into my advanced section here and I'm just gonna pull back on that color a little bit. I don't want it too saturated. I wanna keep it a little bit more realistic there. So I'll pull back on that color and I think everything's looking nice. 
And another great thing about Brilliance AI is it's actually taking care of a few of those local adjustments for me. So if I go into this local adjustments menu, you can see it's already adding in some color to the flora or the tree in this case. It's also darkening up that sky a little bit to give us a little separation between that background and the foreground. If we wanted to add in a new local adjustment instantly, we could open up this regions menu and we can choose a specific region there. I can immediately start modifying the look of that subject just by adding it into this Brilliance AI section here. If I wanted a little bit more fine tuning, I could just select this arrow. It will immediately open up that local adjustment for that particular region and I could start adjusting. Now I don't actually want to modify the local adjustment for my bird there. I actually want to apply a detail filter to bring out a bit more detail and texture within the bald eagle. So if I go back to develop there, my Brilliance AI pane is pretty much exactly how I want it. Let me just hit the backslash key on the keyboard there. And it's looking great. Let me just hit K on the keyboard. That will enable super select AI here which I can immediately use to hover over different regions of the photo. I could select them, right click, and I can immediately apply any of the 30 plus filters to that specific subject, or I can add in a local adjustment. Let's go into dynamic contrast here, and I'll just use surreal. I know it's a little bit intense there, but we're going to pull it back to tone it down. So let's zoom in there. And the bird is looking a little bit too detailed there. So in the dynamic contrast filter, let's go into the opacity section here and we'll just lower that opacity down a little bit. But that detail is looking good. Everything's nice and textured. So I think the image is pretty much exactly how I want it to be other than one last thing. Let's add a filter here and let's add a nice vignette so that we can focus the viewer's attention on the bird there. I'll go into my vignette filter. I'll use this big softy preset style. Then we can just position that on the scene so that it's right above the bird. We'll lower down the strength there. And if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard, our image is immediately much more dramatic. We have a much more interesting subject there because we've modified the look by adjusting the tone, the color, the effects, local adjustments, all within just a few clicks there. And that's the power of On One Photo Raw Max. It's an all-in-one plugin that you can use to basically create any look that you're going for and then immediately go right back into that other photo editor to get back into that workflow. So let's go in here and just choose done. And back in Photoshop, we have our Eagle layer there. And the great thing about converting it to a smart object is that I can just turn this off and on to view the on one photo raw max in action there. And then if I need to readjust or remodify, I can easily just double click that on one develop there to go right back into photo raw max. So let's say we're just continuing on our workflow here and we add in maybe some overlay here for our graphic. And we've added on just a little bit of a graphic there to the image and we send it off to the client or whoever. And let's say they come back with a request to modify the look of the image. Maybe they want it a little bit more dramatic. They want the eagle to stand out a bit more within the scene. So all we have to do to fix that is go back into On One Photo Raw Max, again, by just double clicking that On One Smart Filter there. And we'll open up that image with those exact same settings we had applied to it earlier. But now let's go into our Effects tab here. Let's make it stand out a lot more by adding in a filter here to the background within the scene. And we'll add black and white. If we turn this off and on here, 
we're basically desaturating everywhere in the scene but the bird there. Well, let's just fix this mask real quick by just using that line mask tool within Photo Raw. It's incredibly easy to use. I think it's much easier to use than Photoshop's. All you have to do is drop down a point, another point, and then you can just hover over the line you created to bend it. And there we go. And we've cleaned up that particular section of the scene. One thing I might do in here as well is just go into the claws there. I'll just hit B on my keyboard. That'll grab my masking brush. And all we have to do is just brush this away really easily using the masking brush. And instantly we have a lot more separation between that background and that foreground subject there. So now we can save that. It will immediately put that look into that scene there. Remember, we can always readjust or remodify. I can see that smart filter in action there. We can now export this, send it off to the client. If they have another request or an adjustment, again, we can just double click that smart filter there, head right back into Photo Raw Max, and then adjust if we need to. So that's the power of Photo Raw Max. It's an all-in-one plugin for your preferred workflow, and it can enhance and increase the output of your photo edits. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next sneak peek.